If you want to take great photos of your property, there's a few important things that you should know. Firstly, you'll need to do some preparation for your photo shoot. Make sure your property is well lit with natural and or electric light. A good time of day to maximise natural light is around noon. Next, make sure to remove bits and pieces lying around that won't increase the appeal of the room. Think of things like garbage, clothes, dishes, mail and toys. All of these can really bring down an otherwise great shot. If you want to go a step further, you might even consider staging your home with a few added props, such as wine glasses on the table, to encourage buyers to imagine their life in the new house, or new cushions to revitalise a tired room. Where possible, you should try to maximise the impression of space. You can do this by removing clutter and furniture from the room before you photograph it, standing as far back as possible when you take the photo, and shooting towards the corner of the room. You should also experiment with different angles. As a general rule of thumb, rooms will photograph best when you have the camera at around shoulder height. Watch out for simple mistakes such as including yourself in the photo by way of a mirror, taking photos without holding the camera straight, or taking photos with a phone or camera held vertically instead of horizontally, as each of these mistakes are going to make your photos look very amateur. Include all of the basics, but none of the unnecessary stuff. Buyers will generally expect to be able to see an outside shot, as well as photos of the kitchen, lounge room, bedroom and bathroom. If one of these shots are missing, they may feel that you're trying to hide something. That said, don't overload the buyer with photos. One photo of each space is enough, and you do not need photos of your toilet. Carefully review the photos you decide to use, and make sure they're not at all blurry or crooked. It can also be a good idea to take these finished photos and make slight adjustments to brightness or contrast to increase their appeal. If you decide to crop a photo, make sure that you keep it to a ratio of 4 to 3, as photos with other aspect ratios will not display well on realestate.com.au. Consider getting help. Whilst it's not for everyone, if you want amazing photos, you really can't beat having photography done by a professional. If you've got other tips on getting a great photo or you've seen some shockers, we'd love to hear about it, so don't forget to let us know in the comments below. If you need more information or expert advice, visit propertynow.com.au.